The most important person in a project done for a business is the CEO of that business, right? Welcome to 99 Grit. My name is Andy and it is our vision here to inspire you to chase your dreams and turn those dreams into tangible design careers through learning new design skills and being accountable. Today I wanted to talk to you about the stakeholders in a project. Uh, I undertake this exercise regularly with the business people, specifically at the very beginning of the project to fully understand what are we talking about, who we should be talking to as far as the customer base is concerned. And we've talked about this a little bit in our previous vlogs as well. But what I really wanted to talk to you about today is how to break down uh, the, the stakeholders. Uh, each project has plenty of those because each project should be really having an impact on some of those people, some of those companies and on specific um, areas of the business as well. So to each business goal that you're trying to achieve is a whole list of stakeholders attached to that business goal, which you need to map out to make sure that we're talking to the right people at the right time in the right context. So what I would urge you to do is basically sit down with your business uh, people um, team and your design team as well around one table and after you've done the conversation about what they want to achieve what the success of this project looks like etc try to break down all of the stakeholders that this project should be affecting to achieve those goals and what i would do is two things first of all list every stakeholder that you have in mind but do it in a structured form so the first thing is that there are stakeholders that are internal and external the internal stakeholders are the stakeholders that are within your control so these are the people that you employ these are the companies that you have a, you know a b2b contracts so these are the relationships uh, in the context of the goal that we're trying to achieve obviously uh, but these are the relationships and the, the stakeholders that we have an effect on so we control them in some way shape or form so these are the internal stakeholders and that's 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 one one group of stakeholders and the other one are the external stakeholders and these are the stakeholders that we don't have control over so these are basically our customers for example these are this is our competition this these are organizations and people that actually we don't have any control over so we need to map those out as well. So this breakdown as a first step uh, should help you out with thinking about what kind of stakeholders we should be mapping out. So people and companies that we have an effect on and stakeholders that we don't have any control over just to list those out. So that's step number one. The second one, uh, the second step is to understand that there are stakeholders that are people and there are stakeholders that are organizations or companies. And these basically are structured slightly differently, obviously, because for your people, uh, so basically customers, uh, you know, specific um, team members or specific, well, people themselves, they have demographic information. They have their own internal and external motivations to do something. They have more of a, well, human approach, if you like. And for the second stakeholders, what I usually break down, uh, for the stakeholders that are actually organizations or companies, um, they have structural information rather than demographic information. So, so they're you know a small company, a mid-sized company, a huge large company. Uh, so, so I'm trying to break these down as far as you know where they're located. Are they global or are they local? And how big those companies are? And what is the effect that they might be having on the business goal that we're trying to achieve? So, to recap, to map out the stakeholders. Uh, make sure that you list out all of the internal and external stakeholders, so the ones you control and the ones you don't. And also remember that there are stakeholders that are people and there are stakeholders that are organizations. So I hope this is useful. Let us know in the comments below uh, about these videos, uh, if we're bringing any value at all. Um, I hope they do. Uh, join up to our um, Facebook events every Monday, 10 a.m. CET. Uh, sign up to our um, webpage at 99grid.com subscribe to our youtube channel where these videos are being posted as well um, and yeah let's uh, be in touch let us know what you think 
we'd love to hear some uh, some more feedback we're trying to work on the feedback that you've been giving us so far uh, so we're tackling that as we go along and yeah i'm looking forward to seeing you guys around and stay tuned for more <laughs>